Copying products from one Shopify store over to another can be beneficial in a number of ways. Not only does it save you a ton of time, but it also eliminates the chance for human error. If you're copying over products one by one, you do have the chance of missing something, whether it's like getting the pricing wrong or putting a product into the wrong collection, for example. In this Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export products from one store and import them into another. This can be especially handy if you're building a brand new store that has hundreds of products or even thousands of products, especially when variants are involved. So here we have a brand new Shopify store, and as you can see, there's nothing in it. There are some placeholder images that Shopify has added, but if we go to the catalog, you'll see that it's completely empty at this point. Now take this website, for example. It's filled with products, and you can see up here that it's actually a demo that we've built. If you're in the business of building websites for clients that tend to be in the same industry, Building demos is always a great idea if you have the bandwidth and the resources to do so. You're much more likely to impress a client if you send them a fully functioning demo versus sending them like a screenshot or a boring Word document. So getting back to it, we have all of these products that we definitely don't want to move over one by one. And of course you could move them over one by one, but nobody wants to do that. So we're going to go over to our Shopify admin and export the products. You can either export all of your products in one shot, or you can add a filter, in this case, I've gone ahead and selected a specific collection. Once we're ready, we're gonna hit export in the top right. And we have a few options here. We can export the current page, all products, or the 12 from my matching search, which is what I want in this case. And then you can either export it as a CSV file for a specific program or a plain CSV file. I'm going to leave it as is and then hit export products. Shopify will either let you download the file right then and there or it'll simply email it to you. Either way, go ahead and save it to your computer because you're gonna need it for this next part. So now if we head on back to the new store that's completely empty, we can go to the admin, head on over to products, and hit the import button right here. From there, all you have to do is upload the file that we just downloaded from the other store. Now, because this is a completely brand new store and we didn't have any products on there in the first place, we're gonna leave the first checkbox unchecked. But let's say you're importing products onto a store that already had products and there might be some duplicates or some new information. You may want to overwrite the products. We will, however, leave the second one checked off because we do want it to publish to all sales channels. You know, of course, uncheck that if that's not the case for you. Once we're ready, we can hit upload and preview. And we're just going to have a quick look to make sure that everything looks like it's in the right place. So the title looks okay, the description, product status, the vendor, everything looks good to me. So I'm going to hit import products. And of course, depending on how many products you're importing, this could take some time. And there we go, all of our products have been imported. And as you'll see, it imported things like the product photos, the title, status, and even the inventory. And if you click on one of the products, you can see that it also copied over additional information like the pricing. Now, if we head on back to our store and refresh the page, we should see all of our brand new products in the catalog. And now all of these products are live and published on our brand new store. That's it for this Shopify tutorial. If you found it helpful, definitely subscribe to the Easter Kings YouTube channel. My name is Digital Girl, and I'll see you in the next one.